districts and ISD parents listen up because there are some major changes that were approved last night that will significantly impact where your student attends school. Yeah, always big when you're talking about where kids are going to go. Yeah. And this comes after weeks of back and forth. The school board there unanimously voting to close several schools, consolidate them with other schools. Kennedy Walker joins us live in Richardson this morning. Kennedy, parents who were at that meeting, we heard from one at the top of the show, clearly not happy about the decision that the board made. Yes, you're right, Jason. Many parents and students, they were very emotional. The meeting got heated. Some even walked out with tears in their eyes. One student saying that if the school board decides to move forward with this plan, which they did, that it would break their hearts. But despite all of this emotional testimony, district leaders made it clear that closing four elementary schools and redrawing attendance boundaries is their best and only option to cut expenses due to lower enrollment and a budget shortfall of more than $28 million. The schools impacted include Greenwood Hills, Spring Ridge, Spring Valley, and Thurgood Marshall Elementary Schools. Those schools, they will all close, and Dobie Pre-Kindergarten will get repurposed. But despite hearing from upset parents, students, and staff for weeks, the board voted unanimously to move forward with this plan known as Project Right Size. We're having to have a conversation that no one wants to have. Um, and we're having a conversation that we know is disruptive for our students, for our staff, for our families, and our community. Yeah, but families, they did not want to hear it. They said closing the schools would lead to new attendance boundaries that would cut neighborhoods in half and disrupt their tight knit community. One family even considering legal action. I plan to look into all legal remedies that are available, including filing an injunction to stop the enforcement of this vote. Yeah, so this means the fight may not be over just yet, but for now, these changes are set to go into effect next school year. Reporting live in Richardson, Kennedy Walker, CBS News, Texas. Yeah, hundreds of students affected by these decisions, Kennedy, certainly something we're going to be paying attention to.